Brother Edward, beginning today, the first day of your life as a priest, 24-7, you will be a reminder for us. A reminder that God loves His people. The priest is a sign that God loves His people. And uh, remove the priest in the lives of people. And a vacuum will be created that only the Lord can fill up. You will be a reminder for God's people of heavenly realities. That is why you are not dressed as an ordinary man. You are vested with vestments that are hard to understand because your alb, your dalmatic, your chasuble and stole later on are only symbols of the life that is to come. That is why the holiness of priests is so important because the holiness of priests always cascades to the holiness of God's people. When the priest is scandalous, when the priest lives a double life, when the priest forgets and betrays the Lord, you will also see the signs among God's people. They start worshiping beasts. They start exalting sin. And they kneel down before the devil. But you are not only a reminder of the Lord, you are also a reminder of things that sometimes we take for granted to our own perdition. The first lesson that you teach us without even speaking, Edward, is everything is temporary. Everything. GMA is not forever. Jesus is forever. Producing and directing TV programs, that is not forever. It is a temporary career. The priesthood is forever. Money is temporary. It can come, it can go, it can be stolen, it can be spent. But the treasures on the altar, the body and blood of the Lord, these treasures are forever. So by your priesthood, you are teaching us that you have chosen forever rather than the trivial and the temporary. But not only is your professional career temporary that you have given up so courageously, some things are also temporary, like canon law, like chapter decisions, like even the sanctuary of St. Paul. This is temporary. St. Paul himself tells us, in the end, only three will remain. Everything will disappear. In the end, only three will remain, faith, hope, and love. And the greatest of these is love. And you have chosen love by choosing the priesthood. You have chosen love when you said yes to the Lord, come to me, follow me. So without even speaking, by your life, by your example, you are teaching us everything is temporary. The second lesson you so beautifully teach us this morning and for the rest of our lives is everything is a gift. Everything is a gift. You were willing to forego December 10th 2022. But you know that this is a gift. This is not a reward for finishing your civil degree. 
This is not a reward for being chased while under formation. This is not a compensation for your obedience to the superiors. This is not a reward and recognition for your fidelity to your religious vows. Because the priesthood is not a reward. The priesthood is not a prize for the champion. The priesthood is a gift for the unworthy. You know that you have violated chastity. You know that you have been disobedient in mind, in spirit, in action. You know that you have violated poverty. You know you have not been faithful to the, to the religious vows. And the beautiful thing, Edward, is this. God knows that you will still be unfaithful. God knows that you will still violate. God knows that you will still fall. Because today, the Lord says to you, even your weakness is temporary. Because the mercy of God endures forever. Sin is not forever. Mercy is forever. Your weaknesses are not forever. The love of God is forever. And because the love of God is forever, everything is a gift. Don't let the ordination enter your head and make you boastful that you have achieved something in your life at 47 years old. No. This is not an achievement. This is a pure gift. And if you look at yourself as who you really are and who you will ever be, you have been born with sin, you have lived with sin, you have enjoyed sin, and you will still fall in the future. And God gives you this gift, this pure gift, even if you are not worthy. Remember, even your weakness that disturbs you, even the temptations that torment you, even the history of your sins that keep on bothering you in prayer, all of that is temporary. The love of God, the mercy of God, endures forever. Everything is temporary. Everything is a gift. And the third lesson, my dear Edward, is that everything must be shared. Everything. Everything about you must be shared. Every blessing that God gives you must be shared. God has given you artistic talents, share. God has given you listening heart, share. God has given you empathic ears, share. Until such time when you can say to the Lord, Lord, I have given up everything. And in the words of St. Paul to the Philippians, He did not deem equality with God something to be grasped at. Rather, He emptied Himself and took the form of a slave. It is when kenosis has been completed, when everything has been give up, given up, when even your breath has been given up, when every cell and tissue and fiber of your body has been eaten up by God's people, when everything has been shared, then you will be part of the Lord, fully a part of the Lord. And that is our only goal. Everything must be shared. You must not keep anything to yourself. In keeping something for yourself, in saving something for yourself, you are not only stingy, you are also a robber because you are keeping something that is not yours. Everything that you have is from the Lord and every gift you have received from the Lord must be shared with the Lord. God has been merciful to you, share mercy. God has been good to you, show that goodness with others. Everything about you must be given up. And when everything has been given up, then your priesthood is completed. You teach without speaking. In the words of St. Francis, 
Go and preach the gospel. Talk if necessary. Because the most important component of preaching is not talking, but being. And being a good priest, being a faithful priest, without even opening your mouth, we are reminded everything is temporary. Everything is a gift. And therefore, our whole lives must be spent saying thank you and thank you and thank you and thank you. And everything must be shared without any conditions. Be brave, be courageous to give up and to let go. Because in doing so, you will empty yourself as the Lord emptied Himself. You will be looked upon as a slave. But rejoice and be glad because when that time comes, eternity and you have a brief loving encounter of grace. Edward, it is not by chance that I ordain you. Even before God created the sun and the moon and the stars, God knew on the palm of his hand that on the 10th of December 2022, you will be my son and I will be your father. And we will grow old together, serving the Lord. If there should come a time in your life when times become difficult and you're tempted to quit and you're tempted to live a life for yourself, please come over. We can talk together. We can talk to God together. And remember, even darkness is temporary. Even problems are temporary. Even those critical moments will be temporary. Because the love of God is forever for you. Everything is a gift. Everything is temporary. Everything must be shared. Edward, the Lord has prepared you for this day. The journey of 47 years comes to an end with this ordination. And then you begin a new chapter, a new journey in your life that will bring you to forever. And at the last breath of your life, may you have given up everything. May the Lord who called you, the Lord who is forever, May the same Lord say to you, Edward, my beloved, good and faithful priest, enter your everlasting reward.